top of today's HealthCast, researchers at the University of Florida are using artificial intelligence to better understand the behavior of patients who have HIV and are living with it now. Their efforts with AI are focused on uncovering patterns of risk and bias that have left some patients in Florida with poor access to effective treatments. What we have is based on their uh, electronic health records and then linked to multi-level uh, of social determinants of data and then using AI and machine learning trying to tease out what are the important factors that drive to the particular behavior um, and, and, and design tailored kind of intervention uh, based on that. So when the study ends in 2027, the researchers will recommend clinical and public health interventions to reduce HIV infections and improve the health of HIV positive patients. Meanwhile, enrollment is underway already for a clinical trial of an HIV vaccine. The phase one trial being conducted in the U.S. as well as South Africa is to see whether that vaccine can recognize HIV and then signal an immune response, preventing the virus from even establishing a chronic infection. Initial results from the study are expected in late 2024, and an optional long-term sub-study will continue to follow those volunteers for up to three years after their last vaccine dose. And according to the CDC, at least 35% of adults in 22 different states are considered obese. That's up from 17 states back in the year 2021. The Midwest and the South had the highest obesity rates, and the Northeast and West, they had slightly lower numbers.